don't know me, my name is Emily Burton. I met Sarah back when I was 14 years old, working at a horse tack and feed store called American Horse Products. <laughs> and for those of you that don't know, Sarah's gluten-free. And she's not one of those new people that decides they're gluten-free because it's a fad, but she is an OG, gluten-free, cross-fitting, dead-lifting gangsta. <laughs> One of my fave stories about Anthony and Sarah was one night after we had been at the cantina or Sarah's parents' house. I can't remember which one, but margaritas were definitely involved. Anthony was driving tipsy Sarah and myself home, and she asked if we could stop somewhere. Anthony said, of course, I'm hungry too. Where do you want to go? And without hesitation, Sarah said, Little Caesars. For those of you that don't know what Little Caesars is, it's about the furthest thing you can get from gluten-free. <laughs> it's pure gluten, butter, and cheese in its most disgraceful form. <laughs> Anthony stops the car in front of Little Caesars, goes in, and gets Sarah her fave, a bag of hot, buttery, gluten-filled breadsticks. Yeah. Sarah demolished that breadstick bag like this is going to be her last meal. <laughs> this, my friends, is true love. When you know the rest of the night is filled with farts and potential toilet issues. <laughs> Cheers to you both for supporting one another, even if it's as simple as a bag of breadsticks. <laughs> okay. Hello everyone, um, if we haven't met you, I'm Amber. And I'm Jen. And Sarah, Amber, and I all teach together at San Juan Hills High School. Woo! Did you know that such a simple shape, the triangle, is considered to be one of the strongest shapes? Any structure requiring a strong and rigid construction depends on triangles to achieve that goal. We are lucky to have found that strength every day in each other and are so fortunate to have found each other in this teacher life and in life in general. Maybe one day you can even get us to CrossFit. Yeah. Probably Jen, not me. We're trying. Sarah is our rock. She's the base of the strength in our friendship triangle. She knows how to lift you up without making you, with, with making you feel supportive without saying a word. She barely ever sheds a tear. And she doesn't really dole out hugs too often or cry. And she's not really into PDA. Sorry, Anthony. <laughs> when I first met Sarah, we were asked to share an interesting fact about ourselves. It was this moment that I knew Sarah and I would be friends forever. Did you know that in high school, Sarah got a job? She saved all of her money and successfully purchased her beloved Sir Samsonite from horsetrader.com. <laughs> all without her parents knowing. You can imagine... <laughs> It was a horse, Anthony says, from horsetrader.com. <laughs> you can imagine Cherry and Mike and their emotions on this matter. <laughs> they weren't happy. They were the last to know. We still have that horse. Well, Aunt Beth. Where are you, Aunt Beth? Aunt Beth? At least it wasn't sex, drugs, and rock and roll. <laughs> right, Amber? <Amba? laughs> it was a horse. <laughs> Sarah and I have traveled to Bali together, camped in Joshua Tree, and gone on many adventures together. But some of my favorite moments with her have been on the, hair, the horse trail and the margaritas at Rose's Cantina afterwards, of course. <laughs> Even after several of my near-death life experiences on the horses, she always remained cool as a cucumber, a trait that she carries over into her, all areas of her life and something that we could probably use a little bit more of. 
And then Anthony, bump of along. <laughs> Anthony, you know you're marrying all of us when you marry Sarah. <laughs> with the amazing man that Sarah is ending up with. Anthony is one of the most generous, caring guys that we have ever met. And an extra bonus point that he is a fireman, not only because it's such an honorable job, but because now we can really continue our dream of taking extended vacations together and building our compound life in San Clemente. Yeah. But, Anthony, please do us all a favor and hire a tuk-tuk in Thailand because I think your scooter driving days are over. Safety's no accident. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, you have completed Tara. And therefore, we will make room for you in our triangle. <laughs> I think I've won the bed, Anthony. So on that note, let's all raise our glasses and toast. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> to Sarah and Anthony. <laughs> Cheers, <my job>! We need a last little. We need a last little. We need a ha. We need a ha. <laughs> 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 Already.